Hello and welcome to Mental Health and Motivational Mondays. This is your small dose motivator, Tam Talk, here to bring you a small dose of motivation to get your week started. So on today's episode, I want to talk about productivity and the mon- Monday morning blues, right? You may say, Tam, what does that have to do with mental health and motivation? It has everything to do with mental health and motivation. Here's why. Um, Monday morning blues, Sunday evening blues, right? Why is that? It's always been there, but it's really there these days. Why? Because the trending term productivity, productivity, right? People want high producing work, high producing employees, high producing people. And it has a way of affecting our mental health, right? In this, in the sense of anxiety, increased anxiety, increased burnout. And then if you pay attention, I, I'm a geek, so I, I observe everything. So we have increased anxiety, we have increased burnout, we have increased in caffeine intake, we have increased in oh my god, um employee employee resignation, right? It's the, everything is increasing, and if you pay attention to it, one thing leads to another. And I'm gonna take it back to that whole term of productivity and my question is what were we doing prior to this up up take in productivity those who are producing these measures are they actually taking into consideration that we are humans are they comparing human output to computer output if so you need to stop that stop that because what you're doing is Again, you're expecting a human to produce what a computer produces, right? And that's not fair to the human, and it's also not fair to you neither. And I will even go on record and throw in a little business here that it's not good for the business. Just because your numbers are high, just because the quantity is high, doesn't equate to success. So at what risk... Are you taking to reach the high volume, right? You're putting out all these, um, again, this quantity, you're putting out all these, you know, you're looking at the numbers, but you also have to take into consideration the human side of things, right? And so, and I'm sure the pandemic or COVID, what have you, have also contributed to this increase in productivity. Um, It also builds distrust in your employees, right? It builds distrust because it's like, what were they doing before? What are they doing now? We don't trust them that they're home or they're working remote. And again, all of this is like a cycle. It leads to burnout. It leads to increased anxiety. It leads to high caffeine intake, which again is not healthy for the physical body. It, 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 it leads to... Sunday e- Sunday evening or Sunday night blues. It leads to Monday morning blues. And so what can we do to rectify this problem? This is my idea. This is my suggestion. Set your own pace. You know what you're capable of doing. You know how far you can go. Set your own pace. Set your own pace. If you are producing 50 whatever prior to this upheaval or uptake in productivity and now they're asking for 80 or 90 or 100 set your own pace set your own pace do not do not allow these companies to wreak havoc on you right on your mental on your physical or your life in general do not and yeah i know that again this is a mental health and motivational episode but i want to speak on that because again it does impact it does affect your mental health right it does affect that because we're foc- we're so focused on the numbers we're so focused on the dollars but if you're constantly producing and you're producing the people who are consuming your product and or service aren't going to be able to consume your product or service because they are burnt out, because they are tired, because they are dealing with extreme stress, a high level of 
productivity, that's not good. That's not good. Um, I would also say that greed may also contribute to that, right? Not from the employee aspect, but from the employer's aspect, right? Take into consideration, again, go back to the drawing board as it relates to productivity and incorporate the human side of it. Incorporate the human side of it, again, because it is definitely affecting our mental health. It is impacting our mindset. It is, it's, it's doing a lot of negative things more so. It's producing more negative things than it is positive things. That's what I'm trying to say. It is producing more negative things than it is positive things, right? So, yeah, so you may ask, like, Tam, what are you talking about today? Again, I'm, I'm, I'm providing an observation of how productivity or high producing measures how they are impacting our mental health. And again, those who are in charge of those productivity measures may need to go back to the drawing board and then consider, again, the human side of things, the mental side of things, and how they can be the company or the entrepreneur or the business that finds some sort of balance where it's going to be a win-win, not only for the, the bottom number, the bottom line, the numbers, but also for the human, right? Be that, be that business, be that leader that, that affects change for the good. So that's all that I have for this week as it relates to mental health and motivational Mondays. So yes, yeah, so as always, don't worry, be positive, be happy and remain peaceful. So until the next time, toodles.